Steven's been ready. Didn't you hear him knocking the mic earlier? Didn't you hear me like, okay, well, let's go, and you're just over there scroll, scroll, hey, scroll, 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 Are you fucking on Reddit? No. No. Yeah, I didn't no. like that pa- that pregnant pause there. I no. think you're on Reddit. No, no, man. Show your screen. No, I'm not. Dude, I can see it in your fucking glasses. Oh, it looks a lot like Reddit. It's not Reddit, dumb dumb. Oh, that's Google News. No. 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 Rob, calm down. Did you see all the Xbox news and the PS5 news and all the no. news? No. No. Okay. I was too enamored with Corona news. Oh, you're all on that. Still. Oh, dude. I'm with Steve now. I think it's a hoax. What? It's a hoax by the government for to get what? us to not go outside. So they can change the batteries on the birds. No, it's. It's to do some no, other. I don't believe in that fucking uh, oh, ten point hat shit. Hey, what do you believe now? Is it 5G? No, 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 like about changing the batteries on birds. That's right. I don't, I don't believe that ten point hat shit. But what did you say it was? It was a hoax because of why? Five G. Oh, five G. Yeah. I just think it's a government ruse to get us to uh, not pay attention to something else. Tank the economy. Is it the Democrats or the Republicans? Why not both? Oh, it's the global elitist. Well, it is a global thing, right? This is how we how get the Chinese, NWO. I mean, how many Italian people are in in hospitals right now? Mamma mia! Yeah, singing from their houses. It's all over the world, bro. All well, over. Almost every Florida county has it now, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> I mean... I think this is all kind of exciting. You do. I like the chaos. Until you're not working. What are you going to do when you're not working? Play video games and read. and You're not going to pay your bills? Everybody's not going to pay their bills. I'm going to do what I can. but Pay like half of the bill? And be like, no, Yo. man. The government's going to give us that thousand bones, bro. We're going to be good. You really think we're going to get it? Yeah, man. April 2nd, everybody's going to get it. Like, a couple trillion dollars. What? I mean, dude. You know what we I'm can make for? money out of thin air, bro. I'm waiting for that big uh, news drop on April 1st. It's everyone going, fuckers, gotcha. April, yeah. April Fools. April Fools. <sighs> Someone How many people are going to claim they got COVID on Facebook on April Fools? <laughs> I just got pregnant and the baby got COVID. That's what it is. That ain't funny. Don't do that. I'm going to pretend I'm pregnant this year. <laughs> that That's funny. That'd be believable, though. We I could... try. We try. But it hasn't worked um... out. God hasn't been there for us. He's brought us COVID, but not a baby. Not a butt baby, okay? Okay, so that's what we're trying? Yeah, I'm not having her stick things in my penis hole. Some Sometimes I tell sounding. her... Sometimes I tell her, hey, baby girl, come over here. Let me put my pee-pee in your vagina hole. <laughs> what do you mean? What was with the jersey? It's j- I just have to say it like that. I don't know. But that's how I tell her, and she says, okay. <laughs> she shrugs and says, I guess. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Ugh, I guess. No, it's never like that. It was like, <laughs> well, all right. Do we have to? But, you know, you just tell her, Hey, baby, come over here. Let me put my pee-pee in your vagina hole. <laughs> and that works, huh? And it works. It just every works. time. Every time. Okay. And if not, like, right away, it lingers, and I see her looking at me and thinking about the pee-pee in the vagina hole. And then you just pop the top, and it's over? Yeah. Oh, if I pop the top. That's, oh, no. that's the cream on all the crops there. Um, he's just got to okay. you know, release the elephant. Once the trunk comes out, that's... Yeah, that's... <sighs> Shit starts falling off tables. Yep. Yes. When the trunk starts spraying water. Yeah, sometimes the trunk sprays. <laughs> like an exotic animal. In fact, I want you to start calling me Mel Exotic. Because <laughs> I watched The Tiger King. Okay? <laughs> On Netflix? I mean, like, I know how this story goes, so you can, like, ruin it a little bit for me, if you want. 
I'm not I'm gonna totally watch it. So watch you can, it. Yeah, you can no, just, you should watch it. You need it. to watch it. I don't care the dude, no, dude, it's crazy. I don't care about it? He's oh, not bro, a, he, it's so good. Steve's not a documentary guy. Oh yeah, he's not. It's a documentary for starters, so I don't have time to watch like what six, nine episodes. Bitch, don't even tell me you don't have time. <laughs> With how much shitty movies and TV you tell me you watch, you have time. Oh shit, Steve! Coronavirus is so real now. Mm-hmm. They they pushed the fucking Fast and the Furious release date to next fucking year, bro. Yeah, that's fine. Get more time. He still doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about any of it. Anyway, back to uh, give it, give him more time. Back to Joe Exotic. It needs, to it Mel needs Exotica. Some, some time, time. Then maybe we just need some more editing. They need to put some more. Uh, oh my god, this can't be real shit. No, we're done with Fast and the Furious. Yeah. We're talking about Tiger King. Yeah. Steven, do not what fart the at me. Fuck? He just farted. Does that fart contain Corona? Do we know if it passes through farts yet? Take his temperature. Get the thermometer. We showed up earlier. He's looking sickly. And I'm I heard him feet. gasping for air over there. I don't earlier. know if you're six feet, but I'm pretty sure I'm six feet. Uh, I'm pretty close to six feet. I don't know if the fart cloud is going to permeate the city. Si- Ooh, we got fans, dude. Shit. Bro. It's oscillating. Source. If you give me fucking COVID with your fucking butt, butt gas. Butt gas. I don't what if know. that is how everybody catches it? We just don't know it uh, yet. Yeah, right? I'm fucking butt gas boy over there. <laughs> screw so this, you this, and your goddamn screw bat farts. And a sneeze. I'm just going so like, this this, to crop dust aisles. He owned a zoo in Oklahoma, and he was this like flamboyant gay <laughs> redneck with I know, a mullet. I know about the guy. Oh, you need to watch this shit. That is crazy. And they go and they talk to all these like exotic he's, he's animal got people. He's some hair too, doesn't he? Oh yeah. <laughs> and they all run these kind of crazy cults where people are all like, "Oh shit, you have tigers! <laughs> I want to be a part of can, this." Can we get naked and take pictures with them? Yes. Uh, Why do that's people always get naked and take pictures with tigers? I, that's one of the things that they talked about. The one guy is all like, Is that "Little what, pussies uh, get you a lot of pussy." Is that what? Because uh, he had little tiger. Taker card. and Michelle McCool did when they took pictures of tigers. Not too recently. Probably. Where they where they get the, they get down the in the bear. COVID. COVID. See, COVID. You're sitting here, you were right in the middle of a story. Oh shit, my phone went off. And it was a COVID warning. Dude. You got those yesterday? Like three of them? Yeah. I got a phone call, two fucking text messages. Yep. Yeah. I can thought it was the end of the fucking world. I got two two mess two texts and then I got a phone call in the mid while I was driving. I was like, Hey, I'm driving here. I'm driving here. And what happened then? I just said, ignore them like all the other Amber Alerts I get. Oh, yeah? The one, actually, the voicemail, like, I couldn't hear a goddamn thing when I listened to it. Because I decided to listen to this voicemail for whatever reason. But it transcribed the whole thing. Except for the email address. The email address looked a little screwy. No. Yes. The tra- the transcab was all right until it got to the uh, Spanish part for me. Mm. Oh, fucking back. Um, so doesn't Joe Exotica has like Florida ties? Joe Exotic, yeah, he tried to. <laughs> he uh, there's the lady here that runs the Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, and he tried to have so her killed. <laughs> she's an animal rights person. And he's like an animal advocate, or maybe I'm getting them confused and they're backwards. It's kind of like the same shit that I went to that elephant sanctuary. Okay. <coughs> and that lady was going on about, but I'm not... Like, she was against PETA, so was Joe Exotic. They All these people... But everybody in that fucking docuseries just... All of them seem shitty. There's the big cat rescue lady who has all that fishy, fishy shit about her ex-husband that maybe she murdered him, huh? fed him to the tigers. That shit is crazy. Then, the, then there's this other guy up in South Carolina, Doc Antile, who just got raided in like December, so it wasn't part of the show, but like he was running some kind of cult where he was having like 17 or 18-year-old girls come and stay with him and then they would end up like living with him and help him take care of these tigers and run this zoo 
this shit is crazy. None of the people, like, some of the, like, extra people, they were all right and you sympathized with them. But all the big people, all the big names in this, were all just shitty people that were, like, kind of scummy in their own way. Are a lot of them former carny people? Oh, I definitely bet there's Carney in them somewhere. <laughs> there's Carney in them somewhere, damn it. There's Car- even the big cat rescue lady who pretends that she's, like, holier than thou and all about all this shit, but she's still out there making money off these animals and, like, milking the social status from it. And What do you mean by milking the social status of it? She has, she's, talking, she's always talking about she is, like, fucking... A million subscribers on YouTube and Facebook and... Uh, isn't that good for your business, though? I, but that's what I'm saying. But she tries to pretend it's not about the business or the money. But if the business is the, the, the kitties... Yeah, the I, I, I don't think she was much better than the other people, though. Have it's, you ever watch been? it. Watch I'm it. Go- oh, I'm definitely me. watching it. Watch it and tell me what you think. Steven's not going to watch it. He doesn't care. No, probably not. He's probably gonna die before that. Steven, he's well, he keeps, he has to keep working because he's an essential Amazon deliver. Dude, I do not give a fuck, man. They could pay me what they're paying him. I go work. We're hiring. I uh, yeah. I already got a all right job. I should probably stay at. Well, there you go. You don't want to work that bad. No, I'm working currently. For like now. if we get laid off for like a month, I might try to be like, hey, yo, Publix. Hey, yo, Walmart. For now, yeah. I mean, let's see You need see what... some uh, part-time help. I got you. Let's see what happens here next week. Monday. 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 They would, they would not do anything till Tuesday unless I got a right. call, like, fucking the... that day. Hey. Or the old show up and go home. Ugh, I would hate that. It would be all right. Yeah, you're the type of person that's okay with that. Me, I'd be like, ugh. I'd show up and I'd be like, well, shit, now I'm going to go do something. I'm going to social my ass out here in public. (laughs) Oh, wait, I can't. No, I'd probably just come home and play video games. Play fucking Dota. (laughs) Let the the lockdown begin. Yeah, I'm ready. I've got a backlog of uh, video games to go through, some movies, a backlog of movies, and some books to read. So I'm good for a little while. I'm going to need to go grocery shopping at some point, but I'm going to just order it and then pick it up. Oh, that's smart. So I but then you to... got somebody touching your shit. They were close. I'm going to make a list. <laughs> <laughs> but then you got to go be with all them people that I hear aren't being six feet. Uh, bro, I went to Publix. Or... You can't be six feet. Do you <laughs> exactly. realize how far six feet is? Yeah. We went to Wawa today and like waiting in the line. And I'm like, none of these people are six feet. Like they were trying to give each other space, but. It was like three okay. feet, four feet hey, at most. At least the fucking freestyle Coke machine isn't available now. That thing is that so th- disgusting. They don't, you can't do that. You can't. Coffee. You can't get the coffee. All the donuts are individually wrapped. I wish they should have been doing anyway. Um, Slurpees. No Slurpees. No Slurpees. The, they still have those filthy touch screens. Yeah, I thought about that after I touched it. But they were coming through wiping them down as soon as I was done. So... They probably wipe those down a lot. Still, though, they're still disgusting. Yeah, well, well Walmart oh, yeah. closes at, like, uh, 2 in the morning. Oh, yeah, to, for uh, an hour. Clean. For an hour to, to, to clean. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, they yeah. deep clean the store at 2 o'clock in the morning. Now? That's what Largo said on the door yeah, today. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's all over, this, all over their signs. Huh. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. And, I, and what's their definition of deep clean? Is it, like, the cleaning, like, the maintenance guy at our job does, like... Uh, Every day, homie comes by my desk, and, like, he's got, like, a wipe, and he, like, wipes it down, but, like, you can see the dust around it where he didn't wipe it down. I'm just watching you. I'm taking care of you, guy. I'm like, thanks, bro. I'm sure they're saying it. They're saying he's wiping things, or, like, everything that can be touched. By I'm the only motherfucker that touches my shit, though. Still. No, I'm with the you don't know. People. I'm back Except there you. touching you. Yeah, you shit. touch my shit all the time, I think. I'm back there touching it all the time. So you don't want to know. There's no camera right there. I might have put my balls on your keyboard. Hmm. It did smell weird the other day. He's farting on your keyboard. I he believe it. He left you a note or two. Probably stealing my Jolly Rancher. At least until Vic gets back. <laughs> I saw him. Poor bastard. Anywho. So... 
speaking of video games, I've been playing, I picked up Ori in the Blind Forest uh, like a week ago or so, but I've gotten into it this week. Man, that game is a fun-ass Metroidvania. Have you played it? I've seen it. I haven't played it. It's fun. It's it fun. fun? It fun. It fun, bro. It reminds me of a... Uh, what was the one where you... The Luchador? Oh, Guacamelee? Kind of. There's a little bit of that in there. Although that's not a one of the best yeah, ones. That's but that's kind of boring. Not, yeah, that, but this one... Oh, man. It has so many different moves you can do and so much... I'm like halfway through it right now, I think. It's good shit. Play it. Did you ever play that uh, biker zombie game? Biker Mice from Mars? No. no you Not just, yet. You just bought other things to push that towards the back? It's in the backlog. That's It's where it resides, Steven. Days Gone. I'm talking about Days Gone, Rob. I haven't, I haven't played the PS4 in a while. I started playing Persona 5 again the other day, but that was a while ago, too. You guys came over. That's the last time I had the PS4 <laughs> on. I uh, I beat Detroit becoming become human. You did? Look at Steve beating games. Yeah, it's been a while since I beat a game. Been a while. And I just borrowed, um, what was it, T- Tom Clancy, like, uh, open world game. Not Wildlands, but the one that came after it. Oh, Ghost Recon? Yeah, it's Ghost Recon, but I think it's called Break Breakpoint or something like that. Oh, that the newest one, yeah. yeah. I heard it wasn't that good. Yeah, I'm not liking it. Uh, we, back I haven't really been in, into any of those games. I've been playing a Call of Duty Warzone with some of the fellas from work. Yeah, my old roommate's like, you should play oh, is that that like, new, uh... it's a It's a Battle royal. It's pretty fun. It's it's free, if, even if you don't have uh, Call, of Call of Duty. It's pretty fun. Download it. Try it. Yeah. yeah. I the, was, huh? Me and the roommate had a uh, Street Fighter tournament, and I whooped that ass. And then the fighting games, you lost me. Yeah, I know. The, fighting games are really losing me now, too, though. There's not too many out there that are really good. There, no, there's lots of good ones. It's just they're too, like... In depth, like you get armor and shit now in some of them, and you gotta like build you need your to play character. Some Smash up. Brothers. No, I mean Smash I've Brothers. I've been thinking is fun. about it lately. Smash Brothers is fun. It's a great game and all, but it's not the. F- it doesn't scratch my fighting ball testicles. We can. Uh, you have it. Smash. Yeah. We can play online during the lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna? You're laughing. Are you gonna? You should get Steve a switch before the kind they lock of asshole it down. that'll go out during the lockdown for essential things. Like no, what? I could see a you walk guys around going. the park and fresh air. And oh spit yeah, on everything. Yeah, you're gonna oh. be licking vegetables, aren't you? Oh my god, I was doing driving down. Was it Bayshore in Tampa? That long stretch of road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like a hundred, maybe a little more, maybe a little less people just. Jogging, running, walking, riding their bikes, doing all kind of exercise shit. And I'm like, I wanted to yell out. I was like, you're not six feet. So they're, just, they're just out there exercising. I'm like, well, this is what people do when they can't go to the beach or a theme park. And this is why more shit keeps closing down. But even if we're like, quote unquote, locked down, we're still going to be able to do that kind of shit. Like, you're going to still, you gotta, no, you're still going to be able to like go out and jog. No. No. Go out and what? Like, jog around the neighborhood? I don't think so. I think they're going to discourage it. Like, you could... You're really only supposed to go out for essential things. Like, walk so the like, dog? Like, walk your dog, yeah. Extra long walk. I don't know. It's going to be weird. And they're starting to do the curfew. So, for me, like, working overnight, I don't know how that's going to affect it. If I'm going to get pulled over... You'll going need to your work. papers. Yeah. Do you have your papers? What are you doing out here tonight, sir? They've got the National Guard out in some places. Yeah, Almerton Road. Do they? Yeah. Did I show you the video? No. I'll share it. Yeah, later. Yeah. Later, okay? okay. Not right now. No, not right now. Okay? Okay. Yeah, and I've been playing Yakuza again, too. That game is so much fun. You ever play a Yakuza game? Yeah, it's like Grand Theft Auto Tokyo. Yeah, kind of. No, what Grand Theft Auto Tokyo was, was... uh. What was that? Sleeping Dogs? That was awesome. Yeah. That was a fun game. That was a great game. Yeah, the first one was really dope. I think I had that on the Xbox. I might download it. 
No, you think about hacking it. Hacking into stuff. Yeah, where you were fighting. That's what I liked about it. The, like, martial arts combat more than just, like, all the gunplay that of Grand Theft Auto. And so, they did show off the Xbox and the new PlayStation. Okay, give us your report. Still too early. I need to see price points. I heard there's like teraflops involved and all kinds of. I there didn't were even... like numbers that there was like specs. I was like, I don't understand that. Yeah, the the PlayStation one was way too in depth. It was more geared towards developers, though. I don't think it was as consumer friendly. And they're still not putting a terabyte in that PlayStation. Well, they're all about proprietary hard drives now. So they each have their own like hard drive that's fine-tuned for their shit. Like, the Xbox is going to have... I understand that, but why are they not putting at least a terabyte in that bitch? They are, I think. No, the... the, the Well, I guess it's what's left after the format of formatting of a terabyte. It's like 875. Oh, yeah. No, that is. That's a terabyte. And probably the system is going to eat up some of that, too. So a lot that's of that. Of, that's part of that. Eight... Or part of the missing, you know. Yeah, true, true, true. true. Um, but yeah. the I know Xbox on the Xbox, they're gonna go back to like little memory card things for expandable hard drives, which are gonna be these little like M.2 like NVMe cards that are just like little hard drives that are like the stick of gum. That are it's like super fast solid state. Sounds That's expensive. what they're all going. Sounds towards expensive. Solid state drives now, so that's why the loading and everything on these well, games is going to be fuck. so quick. Dreamcast have the best memory cards. Still loading them. Mm-hmm. What the Tamaguchis? <sighs> but it did you ever really like use, use them? It? No. Well, my brother had the Dreamcast, so I it was more that he had it. But I thought it was just cool. And like I was playing I mean, games. Uh, Dreamcast had a lot of cool technology, like the microphone for Seaman. I love that game. I never played it. It was fucking weird as fuck. Like, it was definitely like a one of a kind thing. And then the memory cards. What else did they have? They were like the first ones with a modem, a uh, keyboard. What else? All kinds of stuff. Yeah. Did they have Vibrate? I don't think they were first, but they had it, I think. I think PS2 was the first one to Vibrate. No, PS1. Yeah. Dual Shock. Dual Shock came out. Dual Stick. It was, it was like the halfway original. through the PS1. It was after Resident Evil 2 was out because they had to put it back out with an update. So you could play with the Dual Sticks. Mm hmm. <sighs> Playing Resident and Evil. And it added the uh, dual analogs. That's what I'm saying. The Dual Stick. PSN has uh, Resident Evil 2 on sale right now. I, I haven't played my the PlayStation remake? in so long that I, don't, I buy games more on my PC. Or the Switch before the PlayStation now. You have become shelfware. Until like the PS5, I'll probably get a PS5, especially if it's as backwards compatible as I say. Then, why so, not? So you're saying it right now. How back are they going to go? All the way back. All the way, brother. No, I don't know. PS4 games, I think. Oh. Uh-huh. I don't know how far All back ac- Xbox is going. Well, well, just like on on PlayStation, you can go back to PS One games. Like if you have a like PSN, yeah, PSN. Because I, I can play. Because uh, if I had PSN, I could play uh, the first like uh, Red Faction stuff like that. Ooh, did you see that? Um, Command and Conquer is getting remastered and put back out. Were you ever into that? Yeah, somewhat. I loved Command and Conquer. There, there was a period in my life where I got really into RTSs. We were talking about it earlier. I, watching that uh, real life lore on YouTube made me want to oh. play some like Civ. Civ. Civ is so much fun, but it's also so addicting. You're sitting there, all right, one That's more turn. So fucking much. One more turn. Next thing you know, it's like fucking seven hours later, and you're like, what the fuck? That's a good though. That's gonna be good for the apocalypse. Yeah, man. More people need to be playing Civ. This thing will all be over if we all just start playing video games tonight for, like, hours on it. Well, people need to just quit going out and doing shit. I go out to work. No, you went out to lunch today. I didn't go out to lunch today. This motherfucker had a picnic. A picnic. You went out and had a picnic in the park. No. 
we and ate. you were like trying to be close we, to people. We stayed in the house and ate. Oh, okay. That's What'd fine then, Stephen. What? What'd you eat? What'd you make? What'd you make? I don't know. She made something. You Wait. don't even know what Wait. it is. You were home before you, and you still made her make food. But well, she didn't make it. it was already, we we had like a fridge full of pre-made foods, meals. We meal prep. God, they are so married. We meal prep. <laughs> yeah, you can't jealous. knock that, bro. Don't hate. Because he's got portions of his life together. It's not even that. It's just he's such a basic white bitch. The roommate, like, giggled at me last week because I get my clothes out for the next day the night before. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I no. do that every day, except if I'm off the next day. <laughs> now nah, that is a little... I'm such a bear in the morning, it's nothing I want to think of. I just grab things. You don't... You, like, have the same shit you wear all the time, though, so... Yeah, so it's pretty easy, but still. I don't have pre-assembled outfits. Pre-assembled outfits. <laughs> I have a uniform, so... <laughs> he has a uniform, I don't. I haven't had a on. uniform in forever. I just throw it on. You know, some wrestling happened this week. So did some comic books. Oh yeah, comic books. I read some comic books. It was uh, such a weird week, once again, because comic books came out on Tuesday. I know, I didn't get and that was, email until it was too late. And I was still reading the uh, last, last week. I know, that's what I... I still have some from a couple weeks ago. That's why I'm going to... Like, I didn't, I still had X-Men comic books from two weeks ago, or like last week, that I finally read today. There's, it, there's comics I get, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to read those right away, but X-Men hasn't been doing it to me. Really? Yeah. Like, I got, this week when I picked them up, immediately I read Something's Killing the Children, Family Tree, Red Mother. Undiscovered Country? An Undiscovered Country, yeah. And I was all about those. I'm so much more into boom and image stuff right now than Marvel. I realized it. He's Undis- on the he's on the indie kick. Undiscovered Country is bad ash. Yeah, I'm ready for that next issue, that, man. Oh, that They're showdown. saying it's gonna be the final of this arc and that little blurb. Oh, I didn't read the blurb. You don't read the blurbs? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Depends on how uh, close to bedtime it is, if you will. Yeah, I feel you there. But that Pavlov dude is a fucking badass. All of it. It's going to be interesting. I, I'm. There's going to be some oh, plot gonna, twists in this it's next gonna issue. It's going to be like I this, think. like big standoff at the gate. Yeah. The first gate. Yeah, I'm ready for it. <coughs> and it's in, oh, Yeah, that's one of those ones I keep going. Wait, what's going on? What is Destiny this? Man's going to die. But huh? Is the Destiny Man going to die? Or is it, he going to be the ongoing protagonist? Is I don't know. That's what or I'm, is he just I'm the wondering. Protagonist of this arc. And they I don't got even... something more badass than Destiny Man, because like when he took his horns off and put the other horns on, yeah, and there was like the blood. Oh, that was so badass. The whole thing, the whole book is just kind of pretty badass. I'm ready for more of it. And then something's killing the children. Yes. Speaking of badass, Miss Slaughter. She's a badass, but uh, is off the job now. Off the job. She got in too deep, and uh, they're sending out the... Uh, and that's more interesting. I want to know more about this whole, like... Clan thing? Clan she belongs of, to. Yeah. yeah, Hunter Society or whatever. Yeah, well, you and see... And you forgot <clears throat> to pick up Family Tree. Yeah. I didn't see that it was available. It was in my I'm, poll. I make a list. Yeah, I gotta fix up my pool list, I guess. It, I'm, uh, I'm gonna screw that up during the apocalypse. It, it completely changes up at the end of that, like... Really? Yeah. It I like they, oh, they're about completely. To you go. Oh, okay. This is this was all just story here, and here's the real story. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it's good. All right, I'm gonna have to get that on Monday <laughs> in case the world shuts down. <laughs> Maybe pick up another trait. No, I got a whole bunch of uh, Wicked and Divine to read. I know. Maybe I'll have to go get a book or two. No, I have plenty to read. You didn't read X Force. No, I didn't read X Force. That's a pretty good story this week. I'm, I'm As usual, forward. I I read X Men this week from last week, but not this week. But not this week. Where they where they were uh, the aliens that the brood comes and they have to with the new yeah mutants yeah yeah. And... I didn't like that story that much. And yeah, this story it seems like another new mutant story. 
Yeah, I don't understand. Keep those in the New Mutants. Keep them in the New Mutants. Oh, and that one was pretty... With Wildside showing up at the end? Yep. And the New Mutants this week was... Yeah. They're, like, after they're on a rescue mission for this chick that, like... This week was uh, Excalibur. And you're thinking of last week was New Mutants. Oh, yeah, where they got the mutant from Russia. Yeah, where they're trying to. Yeah, I was meh. On you that see, one. you're all dope. lost with them too. It was a dope cover, though. Next, next week or this week is supposed to, have, yeah, next week is supposed to have like four issues. What are they here? They're supposed to get the uh, giant size Nightcrawler, which is going to be good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. All right, giant size Nightcrawler, uh, Hellions, yeah. Wolverine, and yeah. X Men. Wolverine, yeah, I guess. I'm not taking the vampires. There's too many vampires. Bro, it's what it's all about. Coronavirus is a vampire <laughs> disease. It's all about sucking blood. Sucking the blood. Um. Oh, I read King Nowhere, number one. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That was better than you said it was, dude. I didn't give it enough credit, huh? No, that dude is like, that dude is like stuck in an LSD trip. Yeah. It's it, it. Oh man, that shit is so crazy. And you're wondering, this, is this an LSD trip? And what? then there's like the dude with the nail gun that's apparently yeah, after him at the end. Yeah, following him at the end. It's like, what's going on with this the fella? The fish guy and like all the weird. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm I'm digging that one. Uh, I guess you didn't read Deadpool. No, I'm I, really, I. I'm not really digging Deadpool. I need to. I, I fucking didn't know which ones I had. I'm all like, did I miss one of these? Did I miss like ep- issue three? And I gotta get Craven. that. Huh? That's when Craven shows up. I think I read end. that one, but I didn't remember. So I was like, you know what? If I don't remember, and it's been like this, I'll go home check it. If I have it and I don't remember it, then it's not worth keeping. Going with it. And if I didn't have it, then I forgot it, and I'll you know, get it at some point down the line. Yeah, I'm probably dropping it. Dropping it. Yeah. Nope. I mean, it's kind of its humor, but... Did you read Mercy? You did end up reading Mercy. Did we talk about that a couple weeks ago? Yeah. I just thought yep, I yep, couldn't yep. remember. That's going to that need, that's gonna take a couple issues to... Yeah, to really out. pick up and figure out what's going on there. We're losing Steve. He's so tired. It yeah, happens. he's so tired over there. No, I'm just... You know, I don't have two cents of printing because I don't read comics. You don't read comics anymore. Nah. What do you do? Just watch TV? I play work. video games. I work. No, we played work. Detroit. He was playing he, that. He beat Detroit. Beat it. You're correct. It's, I do want to play it. It's I, fun. I'm going to play it. And Excal- Excalibur. I know I said it was kind of yeah, But we did have like human sacrifice incantations and... That's all up your alley, too. camping. They camp a lot. Well, yeah. Did you notice that? <laughs> you don't like camping? They're in the other world. There's I not mean, like houses. I love there. camping down here or up in Maryland. Oh yeah, it's too hot down here. Yeah, I don't know about down here. Too hot and humid. And uh, Steven's a camper. <laughs> oh yeah, that in Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. You look like a camper. I camp on the toilet. Yeah. Well, you know. He does do that. I've yeah, seen do that. something. If that's your fortress of solitude, it's your fortress of solitude, bro. Um, wrestling happened. Uh, really, AEW is the only thing to talk about. That's the only thing I watched. <laughs> Fucking, you I got, actually watched well, it, cause I actually watched it live this time. Did I we? I didn't wait till last Friday. Did we? Uh, was it announced that WrestleMania was canceled? Oh no, it was not. But it is now. It's all canceled, bro. Everything's canceled. Everything. That's why, I mean, like, everybody knows everything's canceled, though. That's why, I guess, you know. Yeah, I mean. Everything's canceled. Everything's canceled, but it's still, like, mania from the Performance Center. Pre-taped. Two days. Pre-taped. It's going to be interesting. I'm not going to watch it, probably. It'll be interesting, for sure. See the t-shirt they're trying to profit off of? Yeah. How disgusting is that? Pretty disgusting. I mean, like. Maybe if you were giving money to charity, but do they even do that? Like, I mean, I know they do have charity endeavors, but do they have a shirt that they give money to charity? 
They were doing that with the Daniel Bryan one. Which one? The one that was made with the plastic bottles. Oh, okay, yeah. So they do it every now and then. Yeah. It and they have like... the uh, Connor's Cure thing. Oh, the bracelets and stuff and the t-shirts and the pins, yeah. But it seems like every month, like, AEW has a different shirt for a different cause. And that's just, I mean, that's classy as fuck, if you ask AEW me. AEW is just more in touch with, uh... Everything? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Harper, I mean, Brody Lee said, the exalted one. You know, out of touch old man. It's true. I did say in a tweet today, I wish he got COVID. Man, that would, uh... <laughs> that's such a good episode even for it being like no fans and you can definitely that brought it down just because wrestling's better with a hot crowd oh yeah but but it wasn't bad having what they did though the faces and the heels out there yeah either side of the ring it made it a hundred times better so much better mjf was great mjf and they're, Spears, bet, yeah, they're betting on matches and shit yeah it was like you could really see the good guy, bad guy line. And the setup of like different things like Colt Cabana and Kip Saban. Yeah. By, like just him getting interviewed right there and Saban being able to hear it because there's no fans. All the shit they did, man. And it sucks because I know that like Brody Lee would have gotten a fucking huge pop. That would have just been one of those moments. I can't wait for the re- first wrestling show back. Where that people are like allowed to go to, and it's in a full crowd, and it's just how fucking electric and hot it's gonna be. Hopefully. <laughs> and we got all the indie stuff was canceled, but we're gonna we decide we're gonna let it ride with our carry tickets. on. We are gonna carry on. See the, this through through a wish. The collective. I see him coming back down here and making a trip and doing it. Right. This so. is like a what if scenario I had in my head. What if AEW came down here, and like they did a whole weekend, like. That was, like, the focal point would be, like, the Sunday main event, or the Saturday main event. But, like, all the rest of the shit came down with it. They, I was thinking double or nothing weekend, something. Something like that, yeah. I don't know. I need, it just sucks, because this is the one that was right here for us. And it's going to be, like, they already got it planned out for, what, two years, probably? Yeah, it'll be a while before they can get back over here. Maybe a SummerSlam? Maybe. But who the fuck wants to be out there in August? In summer, yeah. <gasps> Fucking AEW, though, is where it's at, man. They're so good. That Matt Hardy pop. All of it. I loved all of it. It was a great episode. No fans. No problem. Yeah. Oh, it's still... poor boy fucking Jungle Boy. Did you see him almost get... He got hit in the, in the head with the... Yeah. With the fucking fireworks. fireworks. That's, that can be dangerous, but, you know... Happens yeah. to the best of us. Yeah. Michael Jackson. Uh, what are you staring outside for? Huh? What are you staring at? Nothing. I thought I heard something out there. There are some car doors open and closing. Uh, are they my car doors? <laughs> are there looters out there? No. Already? No. I don't know what it was. I thought I heard something. Sorry. I didn't mean to distract you, Robert. Sorry. So we may not have an episode next week, huh? Probably um, not. No, we're going to have something. We'll Skype it in. We'll Skype it, record it, figure it out. Like, the second we go on lockdown, that's the first thing I'm figuring out. It's How to Skyping. record some Skype shit. All right. Can't be that hard. Okay. Just put mics, you know, next to your phone so we can just, like, have a three-way we phone call. We can Discord it, Skype it. I don't know how we're going to... We'll figure it out. We'll Twitch it. You know, we've only been going for, like, 38 minutes. Huh? We've only been going for, like, 38 minutes. It seems a lot longer. 38 minutes? Yeah, that's what the thing says. It's a short episode, because Steven's here. Yeah, Steven, Steven's tired. I think it's because we're all anxious about Corona. I don't know, I'm man. I'm hungry, so I don't have to run my, that's what I'm thinking about. You just Steven's, ate! Steven's hungry and tired. He has worked six days in a row, and he gets up at four in the morning. I've worked six days in a row and get up at five in the morning. Yeah, but what do you, do you jump out of a truck every uh, 20 minutes? I lift, I lift spools of wire that you could only imagine. Do you work? About. Do you work when you go to work? That's what he's asking you. Do you work when you go to work? Uh, well, because everybody wants a job, but nobody wants to show up to work. Let's say you say my name in the warehouse, and you're like, "Who? Oh, you mean that dude that's always working? Yeah, he's around here somewhere working." 
I never see him working when I go back there. You ain't never there when I'm mm-hmm. there. We work different shifts, bro. That's, don't I'm you guys uh, cross paths in the warehouse? Don't you guys cross there. paths in the morning? No, he doesn't get there early enough. <laughs> so I'm I don't still there, but uh, you see, I'm still there an hour before I'm scheduled. At least an hour before I'm scheduled. So you're making it sound you, nope. you, you're not putting enough respect on my name. So nope, your schedule is booty. I'm sorry, but my face is going to be on that board. Yeah, uh huh. Real fucking soon. I'm going to tell them not to do it. <laughs> You're facing me on that board with, like, first one to get corona. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, that's already passed. It passed? I'm just joking. No, he's not. Please, nobody get more people get corona. Well, you just doing the Stations of the Cross there. <laughs> Damn, this shit got Mel religious. He's doing, like, upside-down cross motions on his body. For some weird Catholic symbol of protection or some shit. Or maybe he just has sweat. Do I'm you not know, quite sure. Do you know the directions you're supposed to go? No. Wait, what? <laughs> There's a certain direction you're supposed to go. You're supposed to go north, south, east, and west. Or whatever. I don't know. That's the way. Like That's the, you know. I thought you were like Methodist or some shit. Yeah, I thought you were You guys Methodist don't do that? Someone. No. Well, that's a Catholic thing. Yeah. So. He should know about that. I went to Baptist school. But my grandmother was Catholic. I just enjoyed watching like cartoons and playing video games on Sunday. Catholics worship are pieces of wood. What? Yeah. Like they'll parade around like this was part of the cross that Jesus was crucified on and then, like they have prayers on There's a guy that used to when I was in uh, my freshman year when I was in Colorado, there was a park we had open campus and there was a park right across the street we'd always eat our lunch in. There was always a guy there that would be walking around with a giant cross carrying it. Doing Jesus his part, bro. died for your sins. I don't know. There's just way too much about Catholicism that's contradictory to itself. Or, well, to Christianity. But, you know. I was watching Goodfellas last night. <laughs> if that's anything to do with Catholicism. I mean, the Mafia is very uh, it's a religious. Good movie. It, uh, it's a good movie. I, I fell watched, asleep watching it, but I watched <laughs> the hunt yesterday. Oh, you, you so you you paid the money. To Why the oh, fuck no, is all this just coming up now at the like meandering part of the? Podcast. I know when we well because we want to fill some time. Yeah, because you were saying it was too early to end. I, I was just stating facts. No, I didn't pay I anything. Didn't... I didn't pay anything to watch it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Steve don't pay. Steve wouldn't pay. It's on the plex. What'd and you I... say was on the plex? Oh, cats. Yeah, cats. Cats and the hunt. Yeah, and then I just got onward up to uh, in today. In today, oh, came in the store today. Mm-hmm. And then uh, new rental the arrives. Day when it when it, right when it dropped last it was no, last Saturday I think it was, I got a uh, Rise of Skywalker. Oh yeah, I got that at home. You got it now too. Yeah, and uh, I watched that uh, Harley Quinn movie too. It's pretty good. Birds of Prey. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, haven't watched any of these. Yeah. Yeah, all are pretty cool. Well, you see, this is going to be the good thing about this. Like, movie, or the corona shit, the movie people are going to, like, be streaming their in-movie movies instead of them going to theaters now. Well, yeah, well, and, Hunt was only in theaters for, like, a week, and then they were like, all right, well, let's put it out to stream. And this is going to cause the people that pirate shit to have the shit out so fast. It's gonna oh, be I know, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I'm going to find some good rips, but that means they're going to be coming after people here soon. Onward came out yesterday to for digital, and then it's going to be released physically, you know, like April 4th or something like that. Fuck is a physical DVD Blu-ray. Fuck those. Steven wants to collect. You you collect physical games. You collect physical games. You buy games. physical games. No, I just prefer physical games. I don't Some people prefer physical them. movies, Rob. I mean, it's cool. Then why were you just saying it wasn't? It ain't my Steezo. So fuck them. I don't buy movies anymore. Last movie I bought was Fate of the Furious because I wanted to watch a whole Fast Furious collection because I didn't have... Wait. I didn't have... Plex. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't have Plex Wait, time. wait. You bought what now? I bought Fate of the Furious. And this Fast is like eight. a collection of Just movies? so I could watch all... Because I was watching all of the Fast and the Furious movies before Hobbs and Shaw came out. <clears throat> do you own them all? Do you own them? 
I just don't fit the theorists. I have the rest. The rest of them are all on the uh, plex. <sighs> too fast, too furious, Stephen. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm and I just, I just Dude. finished watching all of the uh, the MC MCU movies, so I'm freaking trying to figure out what the collection of movies to watch. Oh, there's this docu series on Netflix <laughs> called Tiger King. Yeah, fuck that bullshit. Yeah, fuck that real life bullshit. Why? I'll probably go watch uh, Harry Potter. Enjoy those shitty first few movies with those <laughs> crappy kid actors. <laughs> well, first I'll start with uh, Fantastic Beasts, and then I'll go into Harry Potter. I go in chrono- chronological. I wish these people could see the face I'm giving him right now. <laughs> You're not giving a they face at all. You it. just give me dad eyes. It, they can feel it. <sighs> the tension. Not, it's not tension. It's disappointment. Steven, the disappointment just watch the Tiger King. Plays out. Have a little bit of relevancy. He's giving Quit you a recommendation, so I don't care about the Tiger King. I don't care about real life shit. It's so much better than fiction, though. It's crazy. I got enough real life shit in social media. With people who've never had anxiety or like, I'm so anxious now because of this corona. Like, I'm like, they take some fucking medicine. What medicine, Steven? Um, God, I can't remember what Megan takes because she has anxiety. Oh, that kind of medicine. I thought you were talking yeah. about like ibuprofen or some shit. No, nothing like that. I thought you had the cure for a second. Motherfucker, I mean, what are you doing on your phone? Nobody would have known if you weren't. No, everybody would have known because they're like, damn, Mel's awfully fucking quiet. You're usually talking unless he's on his fucking phone. I hear all this finger tapping. Oh, did you hear that, guys? A, they would have never known. finger tapping on a yeah. screen. On, from, they would have never known if uh, it didn't go off and go. <laughs> Touch my foot. Ugh. Six feet, guys. He licked his hand before he did it. I'm going to lick the inside of your cheek if you don't Somebody's watch out. Somebody's getting COVID. Steven, watch out. Not that cheek. He's getting all Tiger <laughs> King on me. Come on. He's ready to pounce. Cheeks are open. <laughs> all right. I'm leaving before this gets gay. This has been a TRGPM production.